um, physics chapter 18 gravitational potential um, write the note on this we discussed this earlier gravitational potential is defined as follows then write the gravitational potential at a point is the work done per unit mass in bringing a mass from infinity to the point leave a line and write for point mass m the gravitational potential phi and uh, put that symbol at a distance r from m for a point mass m the gravitational potential phi at a distance r from m is then phi equals negative gm upon r leave a line put a star and write down the value is negative because the gravitational potential is always negative as it has the maximum GPE which is 0 at infinity and closer you get to another mass GPE along with the potential decreases when it moves away from the object GPE increases along with the potential thus producing a potential well in space more massive the object becomes deeper would be the potential well deeper would be the potential well I want you to do, uh, I want you to uh, watch a video on YouTube and uh, you can uh, search uh, gravity visualized um, then you will get this video. Um, I want you to watch this because this is, uh, this will explain uh, gravity, uh, uh, gravity uh, in detail so I suggest you watch this. Um, if you have uh, uh, any further questions, you may raise them later. Right. Now, uh, let's move on to the worked example. A planet has a diameter of 6,800 kilometers and a mass of 4.9 into 10 to the power 23 kilograms. A rock of mass 200 kilograms initially at rest and a long distance from the planet so this is long distance mean we have to take it as uh, at infinity uh, please play attention uh, pay attention to these questions because these questions will come to for your exam as it is accelerates this uh, you know the rock of mass 200 kilograms initially at rest will accelerate towards the planet and hits the surface of the planet Calculate the change in potential energy of the rock and its speed when it hits the surface. Right, so we have to write down whatever the details they have given us. They have given R. What is R? R is the uh, R is the distance. Right, uh, three point four into ten to the power. Uh, 6 meters right and then m has been given 4.9 into 10 to the power 23 kilograms 
right so then you you, you use these values um, to figure out to figure out uh, the details uh, to, to, to find the answer for the question well um, so r is 3.4 into 10 to the power 6 meters uh, then m is 4.9 into 10 to the power 23 kilograms so the, the details that they have given us we have to write down uh, these things first and then um, the step 2 is now uh, phi is equal to gm upon r so that gives us the potential at the surface of the planet right potential at the surface of the planet that is the gravitational potential energy per unit mass at that point so the gravitational potential energy of the rock of mass m at that point is going to be capital g capital m simple m divided by r right gpe is equal to capital g capital m into simple m divided by r so this uh, simple m refers to the object or the uh, now this piece of rock the mass of that piece of rock so then the gpe of the rock at the infinity is zero so the value the change in uh, you know gpe would give us right so it would reduce you know it would reduce when it comes closer so that change in deep uh, gpe will give us the uh, change in uh, its energy so the change in gpe is uh, g capital m simple m g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 uh, then uh, uh, the mass of the uh, planet is 4.9 into 10 to the power 23 then mass of the rock is 200 kilograms divided by uh, then r is uh, they have given the diameter to be uh, 6800 kilometers so you divide it by 2 to get uh, the radius that is 3.4 into 10 to the power 6 then you get 1.9 into 10 to the power 9 joules right so that is the change in gpe that is the answer of the first part and then they are asking for the uh, gpe uh, is asking for the speed at which it is going to strike the uh, planet so we have to assume that there is no uh, atmosphere so in the absence of an atmosphere all the gpe would be converted into kinetic energy right so half mv squared is equal to uh, mgh so how we know mgh that is equal to half mv squared 1.9 to 10 to the power 9 joules we uh, substitute those values and we will get 4400 meters per second right uh, so now you know uh, that the rock hits the surface at that speed so what are the things that is going to affect will the size matter or the mass matter let's try to figure that out now half mv squared the equation is going to be final equation is going to be um, mgh that is the gravitational potential energy is equal to half mv squared now in both sides you have m m to m gets cancelled out so the effect of uh, mass is not there it depends on height or the distance from it it is going to come and gravity that is what would depend would uh, decide the velocity at which it is going to hit i hope you understood if you have any questions let's uh, raise them and uh, in the after going through this video if you feel that you are confident please do question number 10 i will discuss it in the next video but you must try to do it yourself first